Hello, and today we're going to be doing a Jenkins installation and setup demo. This is the first part in a series that will show you how to set up a basic CI CD workflow using GitLab, Jenkins, and Ansible. So, we're going to start with a newly built Ubuntu 2004 server. We're going to install some prerequisites, then install Jenkins, then install a few other helpful packages that we're going to be using later on, and then log in and set up the admin user. And finally, install the default plugins. Right, let's get started. So I've just created this server in AWS and it hasn't done anything, it's been up for a few minutes and the first thing we're going to do is just run us through a series of commands. Firstly, get the key, um, update, that's it, update the sources, set up Ansible as well, just because we want the latest version. The ones in the repo isn't necessarily very the very latest. Then we're going to kick off an update. Uh, all of these commands will be in the um, comments below in the description. So you can literally just cut and paste them straight out and into your own Ubuntu 20 server. But this should work on uh, 16, 18, and 20. You should have a problem. But it's Debian based, not Yum based, so not for CentOS. But if you want it, I can do a demo for that as well. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, so we're just doing up, we're just doing a base installation of some extra packages. Now we're doing the default JRE to the Java. So these are all the prereqs for Jenkins to run. And then we're going to go and install Jenkins itself. Okay, so this is this is a lab environment. This is for you to use for your own projects. It's obviously not enterprise ready or anything like that. Um, okay, so let's install install Jenkins now. I mean, it's a very simple installation. It, it'll probably take you five minutes from start to finish. So, but Jenkins, you know, it, it's on a lot of job specs. It's sort of pivotal to. Um, you know, if you can understand job how to set up the orchestration in Jenkins for different um, jobs, it'd be great. Um, most of it just comes down to running shell scripts and commands. That's it. You know, you can get fancy, but ultimately, it's pretty. It, CI/CD workflows are generally fairly basic. Okay, let's just double check. Well, start it up and then check it. Also, we can check the port. So Jenkins listens for, for this demo on port 8080. And we can see it's active. So now check that stat. You should see it listening. Yeah, there it is on port 8080. Now, if we do an LSOF command for the port, we can see the process using the port. And there it is, it's Jenkins. So we're good to go. So now I'm just going to go and bring up a browser and get the IP address and go to that port and we should see the very first stages of setting up Jenkins. Just make this the right size. Okay, port 8080. And the first thing you're presented with is an initial admin password. You have to go and find this on the server. So you're already logged in, copy that the sudo cat pump in the location and then you can see this string and this is our admin password for the first login and then it, it won't be able you won't be able to use it after that okay so we're going to just install all the suggested plugins this will just take a sec like it has all the basic stuff like git github um, ant gradle you know just all the I think there's email on there LDAP you know, we probably won't be using very many of them, but if they're there, then we don't have to go and get them later. Okay, this just takes a second. Yeah, so I'm using a T2 Micro. As you can imagine, it's not the quickest server, so it will take longer. If you're using a server with more CPU and memory, then this will be done a lot quicker. Okay, we're nearly there. Got 
got to love real-time demos at least you can fast forward in the video okay so in the second the next screen we're going to get is the login screen it's setting up like an admin user and of and your email and things like that so I'll just put in some basic some basic entries okay there we go so that's the same URL that we're already using and we just save and finish and it will take us in to the end screen or well, the first screen in Jenkins ready to set up our jobs okay so it's like I say this is part one I'm going to be uploading more parts where we're going to be going into setting up a little web app then we're going to use GitLab uh, we're going to set up a, a git commit hook that feeds into Jenkins we're going to give Jenkins authentication into GitLab to pull down code and we're going to set up a CRCD workflow so subscribe so you know when the next video is out and we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.